Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and All praises who the world calls God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh by Hashem, and in the name, and Yahweh Shai uh, being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful light preachers, word and truth and sincerity on the brother Tazaba and the great millstone in Arizona camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And um, I wanted to go on, you know, into some milk. You know, because milk is a uh, milk is needful for new brothers. You know, and uh, I wanted to go on in this. This is Romans eight and sixteen. It says it is spirit itself that uh, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, and and that's what you have to lean upon in the Scripture is the spirit of the Heavenly Father. It's not about judging by the eyes because when you start judging by the eyes, you'll start sitting here thinking that only ones that can be Israelites. Our so called Negroes, right? And that's not what's preached, that's not what's actually written in the scriptures, right? So when you go into it, right, you have to know what the spirit is first. John 6 and 63 says, uh, it says, um, it says, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profit nothing, profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And what were the words that Yahweh Shai was speaking unto the people, right? this uh this is um Luke four and And I'll start at um, 15. It says, And he taught in their synagogues, being, glor uh, being glorified of all. And when he came to Nazareth, uh, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered on him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Uh, for it says, And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, the spirit of Yahweh is upon me because he had anointed me to preach uh, the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of Yahweh. And he, in the, and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down in, in the eyes of all that sat in the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, this day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. So the words that the Lord was preaching was all the words of the prophets going back into the Old Testament. Right. So that is the spirit. All the words of the scriptures is the spirit. Right. So what does the spirit say about who the Israelites are? Deuteronomy 28 and 68 it says um, it says Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I, I, I spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more again and there shall you be sold to your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen and no man shall buy you that's part of the curses this is part of the spirit the words that the heavenly father spoke right this is how we know who we are according to the scriptures. It's because the Spirit expressly told, talked to us about these things. You go into the Word. So when you go into the Word, you see that the scriptures talk about what? The afflictions and everything, right? Now when you go to what? The... The... Give me a second. So you can go down to the 45th verse. It tells you right here. It says, um, Moreover, all these curses shall shall come upon thee and, and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. 
because thou hast not hearkened unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep thy commandments and his statutes, and uh, that he commanded thee, right? Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So this is supposed to, when, when you look at these curses, all these things, you're supposed to be able to identify these curses to a people out there in the world today. Now, when you look out into the grand scheme of, the game of things, those that are widely calling themselves the children of Israel do not fit these curses, right? Because for them to do that, they'd have to fit other things, right? Now, it tells you that, right, that we would discontinue. Right? Jeremiah 17 and 4 says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I have given thee, right? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. And, and this is this is indicative of one people, man. When you really think about it, why, why is it that you so-called Negroes, right, in America... Don't even know, right? They'll sit here and call you Africans, but you don't even know what part of Africa you supposedly are supposed to come from, right? Right? Why is it that the so-called Latinos, right, <laughs> before uh, before the Spaniards were, right? Why is it that you have no resemblance of your old language, right? The Native Americans, well, fit the same thing, right? Because we've all discontinued from our heritage, right? The Lord had called this to happen, right? The Lord said, um, there's a scripture I'm thinking of. This is um man, where how did it go? Here it is. This is um Psalms one twenty seven eight three. It says, uh, lo, the children children are are inherited children are in heritage of Yahweh and the fruit of the womb is his reward. And who are the children of the Lord? The Israelites. So we're the Lord's inher heritage, right? We, <laughs> you see, the Lord gave the land in Israel as a heritage, right? So it's not only the land, but we've discontinued from knowing who we are. This is why the scriptures talk about the valley of the dry bones is because what? We fell away through prophecy. Now, no other people fits this. And this is why it's important that be, be coming back, right? Right? Baruch 4 and 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek, seek him ten times more. You see, we've gone astray. We've gone away from the Heavenly Father. And now being returned, you have to know, you have to get into what? The Hebrew, the Greek. You have to get into history. You have to get into the scriptures, right? You got to learn the breakdowns, the prophecies, right? In order to what? Bring forth true judgment. Being able to break down scriptures, man. Right? This is this is what we've been called to do. Nobody else fits this. The heathen don't have a zeal for the Lord. Only the Israelites do. Right? So just a little quick lesson, man. This is um going into uh you know uh uh, uh the first scripture that we got was which was what um um which was a uh, 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 that what that uh man I just gotta get it. How did it go again? It's the New Testament. Um uh, Romans eight and sixteen, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. So that's that's what the lesson was getting into because you gotta fully understand, man, that that the only way you know that you're an Israelite is you have to apply these scriptures and really know who that applies to and it doesn't apply to the so-called white man the arab the chinese right these are all people that still have what their inheritance they have names they have their own lands they have what 
their own peoples to go back to in histories, right? You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all your history, according to this devil, starts when he came around, right? So Lord willing, that was edifying. I'm going to say, call all y'all, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rukhakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone, and peace and mercy to the old flag, Shalom.